guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. Kurt here, and this is the Seiko Mini Turtle Patty Edition. It's the model number SRP uh, C41J1, and this is the Japan model. Really stoked about that. Got it for a real good price. And uh, Patty stands for Professional Prefer. Professional <laughs> Professional Association of Diving Instructors. And uh, this watch, like its relatives, are ISO certified for diving. I'll put a link below as to what makes them certified. Uh, but uh, enough about that. Let's just get right into it. This uses Seiko's in house 4R35 automatic mechanical movement. It offers hacking and winding. So you unscrew the crown. Uh, well, you know, just zoom in here. Unscrew the crown and pull the seconds. Or unscrew the crown all the way and pull it out. Second hand stops, push it back in, starts going again, and you can wind up the movement. It is a wonderful thing when that happens. Uh, the movement uh, ticks around at 21,600 BPH, employs 23 joules, has a power reserve of about 41 hours. An accuracy variance of minus 35 to plus 45 seconds per day at normal operating temperatures. That doesn't mean it's that bad. It just means that it, uh, it's a, Seiko will accept it anywhere in between. So this watch could very well be plus one per day or plus 40 per day, and it's accepted. Uh, the case, the case is 316L stainless steel has a nice combination of brushing on the top and polishing on the sides and uh, its new turtle shape is a is a little bit more refined a little bit more modern yet kind of classic at the same time you know the bezel uses a 120 click unidirectional ratchet and is taut yet soft at the same time kind of like the kind of like your first time you know what i mean <laughs> uh, the insert is typical of seiko it's very legible yet kind of kind of cheapy it has a kind of a cheapy feel that is very typical of uh these seiko divers but it's still it's still good i still like it the edge of the outside of the bezel uh it's uh right here it's a bit rough it could use some polishing you can you can tell like there's either some kind of machine that just kind of forced everything in and scratched up the outside every single one of these watches I've seen this bezel is not very well the, the outside right here this this part right here I'll let me get real close up and personal here there you go hey, giggity you see you see this that line right there all right on the outside of the insert you see how it's just kind of rough every single turtle it's like that. Every single one I've seen, it's like that. It's just a little bit rough and all kinds of, all kinds of scratched up. I don't know why that's like that. So if you want it to be nicer, you're gonna have to like tape up the insert or something, and just kind of polish it up. But that's just very annoying. And if it, if it's all nice and polished up, it looks really, really good. Uh, but that's something that I just noticed. Uh, the bezel, the bezel offers okay grip, but it's not delightfully so you're gonna need just a little bit of oomph not a lot but it's just enough so you know that you're pressing and my fingers are a little bit orange yes I was eating Cheetos I was actually eating Cheetos and popcorn at the theater we went to Deadpool 2 which was freaking awesome it was super hilarious I highly recommend it anyway uh, the sides feature drill lugs which is really nice it's really nice to have drill lugs it makes your strap changes so much easier and uh, it's always a, a welcome feature. The crown is again the screw down type, uh, which is partly why it has a diver certification. It feels more precise than its larger counterparts. And the crown sleeve, right here, let me open it up. That big crown sleeve makes it so screwing is effortless, which is, of course, what she said. And uh, it is not signed. The crown is not signed. It has a box shaped and offers excellent grip uh, but it's not not signed which is not a deal breaker for me uh, the glass is a thick hardex crystal which is Seiko's mineral blend and uh, there is a small amount of dust on the underside of this this glass which is a uh, which is quite unfortunate and something that we simply can't escape uh, it's very it's very difficult to manufacture a watch otherwise even high-end watches suffer from the dust monster some some are luckier than others this it doesn't bother me 
bother me so much as I can only see the dust with like a super bright flashy flashlight so not a big deal uh, the rear screw down cover uh, it's typical of a Seiko Air Diver. It's got the great wave and relevant information. Not a bad looking backside, if you ask me. Uh, always nice to see the backside of a Seiko Diver's watch. Now, the dial is where this watch shines. This is, this is what I like about this watch. I didn't think I would like it at first. Uh, I didn't actually want to get a Patty Edition, but my body was like, You don't have a Patty Edition. You should get the Patty Edition. That's you, Justin Yates. And uh, I listened to you, and I'm glad I did because I really, really like this watch. Now I think I, I think I'm in love with it. I think I love it. Um, so the uh, the Patty Wave Texture Dial is real nice. I really like that. Let me get it even closer, guys. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. 50 millimeter. Oh. You can see that beautiful wave texture synonymous with Patty watches. And uh, I didn't think I would actually like it at first, but I really really do it. Can you guys see it? Is it clear enough for you? Let me get uh, a little bit further away here. There you go. That is really nice. So let's zoom out just a smidge. All right. And uh, what else we got here? That yellow, yellow that red minutes hand. Um, uh, you know, it's... Uh, I, I, I really like the handset and I like the minute, red minute hand. It's part of what separates this patty edition from the other mini turtles. The half black seconds hand is the same as the others, which is unfortunate. I wish Seiko did something different here for this for the uh, Patty edition, but uh, you know they're gonna keep that black seconds hand uh, ha half black on the lollipop part, uh, like their other divers, which is fine. The uh, the uh, indices I really like these indices. I like the uh, uh, I lost my I lost my place in the tablet of justice I have in the background. <laughs> Uh, oh, I kind of snorted a little bit. Uh, the indices, I really love these low profile indices. Uh, I love the shape of the V, that 12 o'clock, it's different. I love the half ovals around and the, the metronome like or or uh, toilet plunger holder at three and, uh, excuse me, at six and nine. It kind of reminds me of the toilet plunger in my bathroom. You know how you got the, you got that little toilet plunger thing and uh, not the plunger, but the toilet cleaner, the toilet cleaner thing. You put the with the brush thing into. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling, but really like these indices. It's sep it separates uh, the mini turtle from the other turtles. It's definitely something different, and it deviates in a delightful way. I kind of don't like that bubble dome though. It's to me, it's a bit unnecessary. Uh, I mean, it works. It works pretty good, but uh, it's just I wish I really wish there wasn't a date, um, you know, like my life. <laughs> but I think it's really nice. Uh, 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 regardless, it's not my favorite. Actually, I just contradicted myself. It's okay. I, I I think it's okay. I just wish it didn't exist in the first place. Anyway, uh, what else have we got here? Let's go. Let's talk about the strap. Let's zoomy zoom out here. Let's talk about the strap. The strap is a blue rubber situation, very smooth on the top. Got the typical uh, extender situations here. Smooth dust magnet for sure. On the underside has a grippy texture. I don't know if you can see that grippy texture right there. Yeah, there you go. Feels feels okay on your wrist, and uh, has a big old Seiko keeper. Keeper. I like that keeper. A lot of people don't, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I like the buckle. It has a Seiko signed buckle. Overall, a high quality uh, rubber diving strap. Not a, not a great looking situation in my honest opinion, but overall great a great strap. So let's get to the measurements, shall we? We're gonna bust out the uh, controller of justice here. So uh, there you go. And uh, right there, boom, and then uh, mm, 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 and then boom. All right, so here we go. We got the measurements here for the case. I got forty-two point four millimeters, so about forty-two point five millimeters. Lug to lug, we got uh, forty-three point one millimeters, so somewhat close to being a square bore watch. And uh, and uh, lug width, we got twenty millimeters thickness we got 13 millimeters and uncle jimmy's little squeaker is 3.2 millimeters and we're back yeah that was the yeah you got the, 
That's a real tiny little squeaker you got there. It's it's it, it, it's not it's not it's it's that was that was measured all kinds of wrong. No, but we mentioned with the caliper three times. Why are you guys measuring it anyway? You guys are weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it was it was his idea. It was his idea. Anyway, let's put it on my wrist here. Now, okay, well, wrist check. Green rubber band. Just a green rubber band. Ow. And I put it on my wrist here. Why was there a rubber band? I don't remember why there was a rubber band on my wrist. Probably needed it for something that I forgot what it was for. So, this is a nice sized watch for those of us that have smaller wrists. It looks good, feels good. The the original strap has a bit of a dingleberry that pops out here and there, uh, but with a with a different strap, this thing is brilliant on those of us who have smaller wrists. Highly recommended. I love these mini turtles. Love my voice cracking too. That's a sign of puberty finally happening. It's real good. Um, I, I really want to get the black, uh, excuse me, I really want to get the black version of this watch so I can start modding it and doing all kinds of funky things to it. But uh, this, this patty version is fan freaking tastic. So, uh, there's, a, there's a side profile, not too shabby. If you're looking at the SKX013 and you want to get something just a little bit better, uh, check out the patty mini turtles they're, they're a little bit more money but gosh are they fantastic they're real good okay guess what time it is it's time for the loom shot it's time for the loom shot with Kurt and the mini watch channel maybe I should make a little jingle should I make a little loom shot jingle I can totally do that guys if you if I get five uh, I'm gonna put a comment section I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put a comment in the in the comments below uh, asking you guys if you guys want me to make a loom jingle I if, if five people say yes make a loom jingle I will totally totally do it <laughs> all right we're gonna put this on a watch sofa real quick here it's not gonna happen and then we're gonna test it up against the uh, uh, the other turtle my other turtle my bigger bigger brother to the to the uh, this just just doesn't want to happen guys this just doesn't want to happen this is all kinds of corrupted you know what I'm gonna forego the watch sofas today and we're just gonna put them on the on the floor right here let the bodies hit the floor the bodies hit the floor let the bodies hit the floor. okay we're gonna just do that okay well hey just real quick size comparison big old turtle little turtle all right and then we're also gonna put it up against the Orient Ray 2, which is uh, very comparable in size to the to the uh, Mini Turtle. Mini Turtle is, is a little bit bigger, but it just feels somehow smaller. I don't know. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There you go. Oh, too much. Sorry if this video is boring, you guys. Uh, I'm kind of a boring person to begin with. And then we're going to get my flashlight, like so, and turn off the lights, put the tablet of justice away here, and we're going to do this. All right, I'm going to cover the, uh, I'm going to cover the, I'm going to cover the lens with my hand as I go away. You know what? I actually have to, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I'm not even, the ISO is not even up. Oh. What ISO to more what I see. There you go. So, there it is. That's what I'm seeing with my face. And uh, all pretty good. All pretty good. The big turtle, of course, has the, uh, the, the glowy insert from Loom Ceramic Bezel Inserts. Real good, real nice. Uh, the mini turtle is actually really bright. I like it. Like it a lot. And, uh, Coloring might be a little bit blue for you guys, but I assure you it is not. It is green. I might fix that in post. But yeah, the, yeah these things. Did I say you did it? <laughs> these things will all last all night uh, with the proper illumination. Uh, they're divers watches. They'll glow for a long time. So anyway, lights back on. And zoom out all the way. We're going to get these. By the way, this is a Barton Elite silicone strap. Put a link to that in the bottom. And then this is a time strap black leather. I'll put a link to that in the bottom. I'll put a link to everything. I'll put a link to the watches. I'll put a link to the rubber band. I'll put a link to the watch. So, and uh, yeah, what do we have to talk about now, guys? Uh, all right, we're gonna get to the conclusion. 
why I bought the mini turtle patty edition I bought it because I needed to make videos <laughs> um, but I, but I did buy it because I didn't have a patty wanted some kind of patty turtle or some kind of patty watch I kind of want to get samurai now because I think the samurai has blue loom and I, I think that's pretty trippy but um, I don't know I just I just thought it was cool looking and I figured let's do it if I don't like it I could probably sell it but I immediately liked it straight out of the box and with a bunch of straps it's brilliant and uh, if you've been thinking about the turtle or the mini turtle um, get one especially if you have a smaller wrist it works really really good with the smaller wrist and uh, let's uh, let's see what the boys say all right we got the boys back let's uh, talk about that mini turtle what do you guys think about that mini turtle the patty edition patty like a hamburger patty hey, you saw, I saw your thumb again you gotta stop that people will see your thumb you think it's unprofessional yeah you see you, 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 gotta, you, gotta, you gotta hold me down like real low like this but then like but then it looks stupid yeah well that's your normal situation anyway well anyway uh, I think I think I think it looks really good on your your pathetic little wrist you know I think it looks good though I think it looks real good and uh, I'm glad you are accepting the fact that you have a toothpick wrist you know you're not wearing all those big ass watches like those like the big like the samurai it's a big big samurai watch you look like you look like a fourth grader walking around with a big ass invicta you know it's pretty cool but i i, I really like it i really i actually really like it yeah you know i i like it too but you know you, you know what i want to talk about um um okay okay um you know uh it's it's a turtle so automatically it's the best and you know it's it's real big it's it's a even it's real big even though it's small it's real big you know it's big and strong big and strong yep you mean 3.2 millimeters real big real big you know what that, that was fake news that wasn't measured properly that was that was like you that was fox news you you fox news yep you 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 you're cnn i'm cnn you know you 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 ms ms nbc ms ms nbc abc bbd the east coast family what nothing nobody nobody nothing oh, that was a terrible joke man you <laughs> That was that was a bad joke. Maybe 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 William Zoom will get that joke. Yeah, maybe William Zoom will get that joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, you, you don't you don't. Uh, Ted 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 Ted. What Ted? What Ted? What? You know what time it is? Is it time to squeak squeak? No no I can't do squeak squeak. I don't have Priscilla. It's it's you know what time it is? What? Uh. Casserole in the oven. Uh, casserole in the oven. <laughs> 